Okay, I've got a fun one tonight to share with you. Mart Hale came up with a nifty little simple idea that worked. That uh, he called it uh, Johnny's Magnet on a Leash. And Johnny Davro is the one that uh, came up with the idea of using one magnet with no bearing and just spinning it up in front of a Bedini coil and eliminating the rotor. And uh, they use these uh, magnets that are polarized uh, on the sides here. And this is uh, Turner's uh, arm that uh, I had mounted on Turner that has this magnet in it that uh, spins around in front of a coil and makes Turner go. But uh, Mart uh, got one of these magnets and just for fun he just put it on a wire. He just put that magnet on a wire and he hung it from a lamp, I think, in front of a Bedini coil, or above a Bedini coil, and spun it up, and darn it, the thing didn't work, and spun up to about 25,000 RPM. And it charged the Bedini uh, excellent, so I, I had to try this. So Anyway, I fiddled around with it, and there's Turner without his arm, and it's just a wire. And that magnet is just on a wire sliding around on a wire in front of Turner's coil. That's an air core coil. And uh, I was just amazed at this works. And uh, there's Maggie right there. Let me turn the magnet. You'll see Maggie's eyes go. See Maggie's eyes. I'm just spinning the magnet by hand here. And I'm running this on uh, 3 volts tonight to uh, spin it up. There's a lot of friction in there. It's not a real good bearing surface, but it does work. And this is just the reed switch setup that I've shown before. Uh, you could run this with a regular Bedini circuit or the transistor circuit that I was using. But uh, for this uh, thing today, I just did it with a reed switch. And uh, I just thought this was the coolest thing. I've got a radio here so you can hear it spin up because it's actually pretty darn quiet. And that was another thing that he liked was it didn't make much noise. So let me plug this in here and I'll spin it up. And there it goes. Let me see if I can get Maggie to go here. Come on, Maggie. Come on. There you go. There she goes. Let me get Maggie spun up here. And there goes Maggie. Look at how bright Turner's eyes are. And that's that magnet spinning around on that wire. And there's no bearing. It's just plastic. Uh, it's a heavy gauge wire that's plastic coated that's running on the chrome plating of that neo magnet, and that's running Maggie and it's Maggie and it's running Turner super bright, and um, uh, Turner's eyes are the collapsing field of that coil in there. And uh, this little LED that's over on the side there, that's the uh, energy generated by the second coil that's wound up on Turner's coil there. But uh, let me rev uh, Turner up a little bit here. So you hear him on the hear him on the radio. He's starting to freak out. <laughs> let me take Maggie away and see if I can rev him up a little faster here. That's about as fast as he goes before the magnet freaks out. But uh, anyway, it does work, and I thought that was pretty cool that uh, you could take a, a piece of wire, just a plain old piece of wire, and hang the magnet on there and get that to spin up. And you hear how quiet that is? I took the radio away, but that's barely making any noise. It's very, very quiet. And for a unit that you wanted to run uh, without much noise and you weren't afraid of uh, replacing the wire once in a while, it's just hung on the sides of Turner with uh, some wire connectors. That's all there is. It's nothing fancy on this one. And it worked. Anyway, I was real happy to see that. And congratulations to Mark for coming up with a real simple solution. Now, he also used a shake light in front of this, and I could not get mine to work. And uh, he's using the generator coil inside that up against that rotating magnet and getting that light to charge up. But I was unsuccessful with that. But Maggie worked good, and if I take Maggie's ball out here and just set her in front of the, the magnet, she, she lights right up too. And that's without the ball in her mouth. 
that's just induction it's just an induction coil thing going on there but anyway I thought I'd share that with people this is uh, Mart Hale's magnet on a leash and we all got tired of the things running away so he put it on a leash <laughs> that was real clever good job Mart